Well, this is a vlog I was hoping I would never have to make. Today we're in Magic Kingdom to eat the worst food in the park. Now here at Walt Disney World, there is some amazing food that I always make sure to highlight and share with you guys. But there's also some not so great food. We are gonna brave the holiday crowds here in Magic Kingdom and head on into the park so I could show you guys some of my least favorite things to eat in the park, as well as some of my Instagram followers' least favorite things to eat in the park. Last night, I posted on my Instagram story asking my followers what the worst thing that they have ever eaten in Magic Kingdom is. I've compiled a list of some of the most popular answers that I received, and we're gonna try some of them as well. The idea for this video came about because I always make a yearly recap on TikTok of the best food that I ate of the year and the worst food that I ate of the year. So I figured today would be the perfect day to torture myself and not only come to Magic Kingdom when the park is insanely packed with holiday crowds, but also get my least favorite foods in the park. I will share my full list of the top five worst things I ate at Disney World in 2023 with you guys, but this video is only gonna include the stuff in Magic Kingdom, which there are three things on this list from Magic Kingdom. And we are gonna start right here in Tomorrowland with a snack that is very high up on the list. <laughs> this is the Cuban hot dog from the lunching pad. It's an all beef hot dog topped with diced ham, pickles, Swiss fondue, and Dijonese, served with a choice of side for $12.79. Earlier in the year, the lunching pad introduced kind of like a new menu. They added a couple of specialty hot dogs. They have this one, they had a banh mi one, and they also have a queso fundido one. I only tried the Cuban one, I haven't tried the others, and man, was that a mistake. This Cuban hot dog, was bad, and you guys know how much I love a good hot dog. This is not one of them. It's really funny because usually I'll have, I'll like record something for YouTube on my camera, and then I'll take a second bite recording it for TikTok. This, we have to get it all in one shot. Ryan has to hold both my camera and my phone because I genuinely do not think I could take more than one bite of this glizzy. I, I'm, I'm already dreading it enough. Oh. I can't even pick it up. Look at that. The bun is in shambles. Shambles. <laughs> Seriously, look at how wet that bun is. The bun is... Whenever you're ready. things are also disgusting this also comes just in case you needed more wetness on this bun to make it even worse it also comes with Dijonese which I did not get on it because it has mayo in it but I can't even imagine if you got the Dijonese on this the bun already cannot hold this how, how much worse can it be with even more liquid this is Thank God that is over. I honestly didn't know if I was gonna be able to hold that in or not. I, I really thought for a second that I was gonna have to grab a napkin. But now that that's over, I don't think anything in the park could be much worse than that. I genuinely don't. Like, that that has gotta be the worst. Ryan's making fun of me, but I dare you to take a bite. I'm, I, you signed yourself up for this video, okay? I'm just, I don't want to be an innocent bystander. I'll give you five dollars if you take a bite of that. <laughs> How much would you take a bite of that for? Not even, probably like 20 bucks. No, don't even, don't even. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. I think after that bite, this Cuban hot dog is moving up on the list. I had it at number three, but I think I've got a up it to number two. Our next food brings us over to Cosmic Rays, which fun fact, 
This is the busiest fast food restaurant in the entire world, Cosmic Rays here in Magic Kingdom. So it's a pretty popular spot, um, but a lot of people said that the cheeseburger here is the worst thing that they've ever eaten in Magic Kingdom. There were a couple of suggestions as well, saying that the spicy fried chicken sandwich was also the worst thing they've ever eaten. And I agree, I think the spicy fried chicken sandwich is pretty horrible from here. But I haven't gotten a uh, Sunny Eclipse Cosmic Rays burger in quite a while, so I figured it's time try it out and we'll see if it's really that bad. Okay, so I have picked up my burger. This is a one third pound Angus cheeseburger. It's flame broiled and topped with American cheese and Sunny Eclipse signature sauce on a brioche bun. If you wanted to, you can ask the cast members in there for like a little side. They'll give you um, some lettuce, tomato, onion pickle if you want it to put on the burger. Um, and yeah, it doesn't look like horrible, but it doesn't necessarily look good. This is probably one of the most eaten burgers in the world. This is the most, most, the busiest fast food restaurant in the world. This has to be one of the most eaten burgers in the world. So we'll see how it is. I haven't had one of these in so long. I probably haven't had one of these in like five years, by the way. I always get the chicken nuggets here. Seriously, I had, I think, two out of the three, four food items they had here, especially at the party. The hot chicken sandwich, my favorite thing in the entire room. Like, hot honey chicken sandwich is what it was. And I know, Kristen, there was plenty of other ones that are really, really good here, at least. Like Ryan was saying, during the special ticketed events in Magic Kingdom, Cosmic Rays has been pumping out some fire food. Started with the Halloween party, that hot honey chicken sandwich that they had here, it had like a fried jalapeno popper, hot honey, it was so, so good. So much better than the spicy fried chicken sandwich they serve here during the day. They also had an incredible spicy meatball sub. I absolutely loved it, as well as the zombie fingers dessert. They were some of the hits for me during the party. And then during the Christmas party, they had something that I really liked as well, the pot roast melt, the holiday pot roast melt. It was almost like a grilled cheese on Texas toast with some pot roast and gravy in there. All of the specialty food during these special ticketed events has been incredible. And you know, Cosmic Rays, maybe it's really not that bad. I'm enjoying this burger. <laughs> Another suggestion that I saw a lot of on Instagram was the Cheshire Cat Tail from the Cheshire Cafe. I decided I'm not gonna get it because I don't think it's necessarily like horrible or bad. I just think it's super overhyped. It's essentially just like a chocolate croissant, a, a below average chocolate croissant in my opinion, with some purple and pink frosting on it. I think you could pretty much go to Publix around the corner and get a better chocolate croissant than you can in the Cheshire Cat Tail here. Um, but that's another one that I saw a lot of. I know a lot of people like love it though, so I'm not really sure how because I think it's super overrated. We were on Main Street filming a clip and I just so happened to get a last minute submission from Matt Richardson. If you guys don't follow him on Instagram or TikTok, make sure you do. He makes some really good content. Ryan knows him too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Roosevelt's Matt. Roosevelt's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Matt. Um, but he said the Skittles fudge from the Main Street Confection 
confectionery is the worst thing he's ever, ever eaten in Magic Kingdom. And I know Matt has some pretty good taste. He does some really awesome food reviews too. So I think I have to try it. I've never had this before. Skittles fudge. Now this is pre-packaged. It comes in a little plastic container. I tried to see if you could just get like a regular piece of fudge, but they only sell it like this. So I don't know if this is the one that Matt was talking about or not. And I don't know if they're like different flavors or not, but Skittles fudge, I will say, does not sound good. So let's take a bite. Ooh. Would it sound crazy if I said I actually kind of like this? Yes, 100%. I actually kind of like it, but I could see, I totally see why people could hate this. I want to, I think everyone is like different flavored, so I want to take a, a bite of another flavor. Let's try the red one here. order this again no but it's not that bad I guess this is more of like a, a white chocolatey fudge so like I guess white chocolate does kind of work with fruit there's also a full skittle in each of them I want to try and get to one I, I cannot eat this I was gonna say I'll just eat the whole thing in one but I yeah, cannot don't do that, that. <laughs> it's actually good this is like an orange creamsicle I don't know, I might be crazy for this one. I really, I, I also cannot believe I'm saying it, but I did not hate the Skittles fudge. It wasn't that bad. Almost like a creamsicle type of vibe, you know, like a lemon and cream, a strawberry and cream, orange and cream. I didn't hate these, but Matt, I, I understand why some people might not like them. I don't know if this is the one you were talking about though. Um, maybe they used to have like a regular piece of fudge because I'm pretty sure they did, but these ones, I figured what better way to follow up the Skittles fudge than with a giant serving of meat. <laughs> so against my better judgment, um, I'm going to eat a turkey leg. Obviously, a turkey leg was suggested multiple, multiple times. So... I guess I'll get one. I have approached the turkey leg area and I can already smell them. I now have a giant turkey leg in my hand. Um, obviously, to no surprise, this came recommended as the worst food in Magic Kingdom by many, many people. Um, there were, this is probably one of the most popular ones, it's the worst one. Um, turkey legs are definitely not my favorite. Uh, if you can only feel what I am feeling right now inside this foil, first of all, it weighs about five pounds. And then just the feel of this turkey leg in my hand is not good. It's not good. Um, so let's take a bite. <laughs> Oh. I do this like once a year for a video, so I guess this is like my one time a year. <laughs> There's the proof. The proof's in the pudding. I took a bite. Um, I feel like the first couple bites of a turkey leg, if you get it, are never that bad, but then like after three bites, you feel, I just feel disgusting every time after a couple bites of eating this turkey leg. I was checking to make sure the people next to me weren't eating a turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna like trash it if they're eating it, but they're not somewhere in the clear. Um, but yeah, turkey legs, a theme park favorite, but not my favorite. They actually had a turkey leg in Disneyland. It was a buffalo turkey leg and I actually like that. Like the buffalo sauce kind of masked most of the saltiness from the turkey leg. Um, so it was a lot better with the buffalo without it. Um, also, there's like rumors that this is an emu leg. I'm pretty sure that would be like highly illegal of them to market something as a turkey leg and then just like sell emu meat. That would literally not be possible. So it is a turkey leg. Um, it's just not my favorite thing to eat. Right. Would you like a bite of my turkey leg? No. 
Absolutely not. You know? Because recently, I had a turkey leg for a video, and I even brought an oversized like Ziploc bag to store it and bring it home in my backpack. But when I went over to uh, two of my friends, Brady and Emily, who were waiting, I was like, hey, do either of you want this before I put it away? And they're like, no, no, I'm fine. And then this stranger, this woman was like, I'll take it. So I gave it to her and she just gave it to her husband with, with a bite in it from me. And he was like, oh, sick. And he just started <laughs> eating it. It was almost as scary as these birds. <laughs> I think that is like the funniest story ever. When Ryan told me that, I was dying laughing. Like eating a turkey leg on its own is kind of gross, but eating a turkey leg that someone else has already, a stranger has already gnawed on is so hilarious. Like, I cannot believe that happened. <laughs> I wish I witnessed it. Our next stop brings us over to Frontierland for Pecosville, where a lot of people suggested the nachos. Now, I've of course had the nachos here many a times. I think the beef nachos are, you know, okay food for Magic Kingdom, but I had one specific comment that said the green chicken nachos from Pecos, and I have a feeling I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, I would usually order the beef nachos here, my mom would always order the chicken nachos, and I remember one time they came out and the chicken was like oddly green, so I don't know if that's like an everyday occurrence or what, but we're gonna get the chicken nachos here. Chicken nachos have been acquired, and I am happy to report that today the chicken is not green, but they don't look too good. <laughs> they give you sour cream, salsa, cheese, lettuce, and a couple of tomatoes on the side. They actually used to have a, have a toppings bar here at Pecos, and they used to have all the toppings there, and you could just get unlimited. And um, still, since COVID, hasn't been brought back, so that's kind of sad. Um, I'm wondering if and when that's ever going to be brought back. I feel like it will never be brought back, so now there's just these like giant areas and all of these restaurants that used to have topping bars, and they're just sitting there useless so maybe one day but I was looking forward to these nachos and after looking at them I'm like kind of I've lost my appetite now I was gonna cheat and just get a chip with cheese the queso on it but I feel like since this comment was specifically chicken I've got to get some chicken on there I should have got a fork It doesn't look great. Mm. But it actually doesn't taste that bad. I'm so surprised that like all of the foods that I'm trying today, I don't absolutely hate. Like, except the Cuban hot dog. That, it's just next level. But like these foods are like not like great by any means. They're not great. But they're also not like disgustingly bad like the Cuban hot dog. So I don't know. The queso's good. The chicken's not bad. I still prefer the beef though. While we're sitting here at Pecos, I wanted to ask my brother, Ryan, what is the worst food you've ever eaten in Magic Kingdom? So, uh, when you said that before we started recording, I had three that automatically came to mind. And that was, one, the Pain and Panic Dog, which was a specialty dog at uh, uh, Casey's last year for the Halloween season. I didn't want to eat that so much that I forced Kristen to eat it for a video. I was like, oh, and the gag at the end of the video is you you take a bite. <laughs> I had already eaten it at once at that point and I hated it. And then Ryan made me take a bite for his video. I'm like, this isn't even my video and I have to take another bite, but I, I, I did it. And, I'm, a, I'm a team player. And the two other ones were also for content purposes. My own, my own two <laughs> pieces of content. Uh, they were in a series that I did online about not <laughs> the two other menu items that automatically came to mind for Magic Kingdom were two that were for the 50th anniversary that I had for both two pieces of content that I did. And those were both burgers. The uh, the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride burger that they had over at, where was it? Friar's Nook. Yeah. And then they had the Mission to Mars burger. Saved by the bell. <laughs> we are going to take a break from Instagram suggestions for our next food. Although this was in a couple people's uh, recommendations. But something that's on my list as well is the shrimp oil from Columbia Harbor House. Earlier 
in the year I saw this on the menu. I didn't know it existed and I was so excited to get it. I got it and it was bad. The shrimp were like gray and almost black. I don't know, it was a very weird situation. I haven't gotten it since, so I'm going to get it again, see if it's as bad as it was. But even with that first taste of it that I had months ago, it made my, my worst foods of 2023 list. So let's go get it. Before I picked up my shrimp oil this time around, I was like, you know what? It had to be a fluke the first time with the, the gray black shrimp. There's no way. But <laughs> once again, the shrimp are grayish black. I don't know if that's because of the way that they're cooked or what, but either way, visually, it just doesn't look appealing if the shrimp are black or gray. Just as I wasn't looking forward to eating the Cuban hot dog, I'm not really looking forward to eating this either. Can you tell just like the color of the shrimp? It doesn't look right. I'm gonna get all those little legs off there. I will say though, this time around, the shrimp itself actually has seasoning on it. First time I got this, there was like no seasoning. It was like eating boiled, overcooked shrimp. And that's the other thing, the shrimp were very overcooked last time. This time, they're actually not overcooked. They're cooked pretty well. I'm actually gonna go in for a second shrimp. There's actually enough seasoning on it. Did they improve? They might have improved. Last time, one of the worst things though was the sausage. I couldn't even like bite through the casing. It was it was just not good. Um, so let's try the sausage now. The sausage is still questionable, but at least the broth is seasoned well. There's enough Cajun seasoning in there. They might have improved this dish. It still wouldn't be something that I would ever get here in Magic Kingdom again though. Over at Columbia Harbor House, if you're in the mood for seafood, they have a really good um, like salmon dish there. I like the salmon with the rice and the green beans. I'd say that's still way better than this. I know a lot of people like the lobster roll as well. So while I would never like go out of my way to get this again, it was one of the worst things I ate in 2023 months ago, but they might have improved it now. Whoa, this lighting is so weird. After that shrimp oil, we made our way to the Castle Hub area because so many people recommended a churro and I could not agree with that more. Disney World churros are just notoriously really, really bad. So I'm gonna get one. So after waiting in three lines to find a churro, we finally got one. Everywhere, everywhere we went to get a churro, they kept telling us when we got up to the register that they were sold out, so that was very unfortunate. Um, and I tried to get one in Frontierland because I got a very specific con comment that a stale churro from Frontierland was the worst thing that someone ate. Frontierland, of course, did not have any churros though, so we made our way to one castle cart, then the next, and we might have a stale churro from Frontierland. Who knows? We'll try it. I feel so bad for all the people that come to Disney World after hearing that Disney churros are the best. Because that's over in Disneyland that people are talking about. No one is saying that Disney World churros are the best because they're so bad. I will say though, I don't know if we're just having really good luck today or what, but this is one of the better churros, churros I've had at Disney World and it's still not great. Um, uh, uh, Disney World just needs to figure their churros out or just go to Nomad Lounge in Animal Kingdom if you want a good churro. Now that we are done trying all of the worst foods in Magic Kingdom, I wanted to let you guys know the rest of my list of the top five worst foods I ate in Disney World in 2023. So obviously we have the Cuban hot dog on there. That is, that's close to the top of the list. The shrimp oil is on there as well, although I will say it did improve today. To round out the list, I also have the turkey pasta on there. It's a kid, kid's meal that they serve over at Pizza Fari in Animal Kingdom. It is 
<laughs> really, really gross. It's like pasta and then it has like a turkey marinara, but it does not have a good flavor. It looks and kind of tastes like cat food. And then there's a strange liquid on the bottom. It is really not good. Um, and then the other thing on the list that I had to, I had to do it guys, the hot cocoa beignets I put on the list. I think I put them there because the cookies and cream beignets that they used to have that, re that uh, the hot cocoa ones replaced were so good that I was just so let down by the hot cocoa ones. And number one, which I don't think any of you will be surprised if you watch the channel, are the char siu chicken wings from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. They served up these wings that looked like either frog legs or bat, bat wings. They were black and they were, I, I took a bite and I, that was another one. I almost couldn't get it down. It was really, really bad. That is number one on my list. Uh, to this day, they're one of the worst things I've eaten in all of Disney World out of any year. So yeah, now that I've shared my top five worst foods I've ate in Disney World in 2023 list with you guys, let me know in the comments what some of the worst foods that you ate at Disney this year were, because I'm curious to see. Before heading out for the day, I want to thank some Patreon subscribers, Michael, Emily, Mulligan, Lindsay, Ashley, Misty, Paul, Lisa, Barbara, Angela, Dustin, and Nancy, John, Paul, Leah, Tracy, Armando, the Latham, Thomas family, Adam and Jen, Wayne, Carol, Karis, Marie, Dante, Shelby, be Daniela, Marcel, Erica, Linda, Mike, Christina, Brittany, the Cal Kane's family, Chelsea, Pickle, Travis, the Martell family, Catherine, Ethan, and Tori. Thank you guys so much. But yeah, we're snacks in Magic Kingdom as voted on by you guys on Instagram. If you're not already following me over there, make sure you go follow me. Link's in the description so you can participate and maybe the next poll will be featured in the next video. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!